Hi, Jamie here. Today I want to talk to you about modifying custody and parenting time agreements. A lot of clients come to me and think they're stuck. They're stuck with these agreements because they sign them, but that's not the case at all. You can change a custody and parenting time agreement based on a substantial change in circumstances. Let's be honest, kids change, their needs change, schedules should change with them. So don't feel stuck. Let me give you some information today. Let me give you just a couple of examples of a substantial change in circumstances. These are things that a court may consider if you have to file an application. Maybe relocation is one of them. You've had to move a distance that makes the schedule not practical anymore. You can't drive that distance to make custody and parenting time work. That would be one example. Another example is a job change. Maybe your hours are different. You have different commuting responsibilities. Another example would be a major lifestyle change. Maybe you or your co-parent have had substance abuse issues or there's some mental or physical illness that's impaired your ability to have the custody and parenting time agreement that you signed. Sometimes it's just the passage of time. If you entered into an agreement when your child was young, it may not work anymore. The needs of a two-year-old or a three-year-old are very different than the needs of a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old. Their school has changed. Their sports schedule has changed. Their friends have changed probably multiple times. But the reality is, is that what worked for them then may not work for them now, and it may not work for you or your co-parent anymore. And sometimes it's about just looking at an agreement and seeing what works. I've seen all too often that forcing a child who's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, whatever age, to stick to a rigid schedule often just breeds resentment between the parent and the child. So you really want to make sure that you're focused on your child and what's best for them. The next question I always get from clients is how do I go about changing my custody and parenting time agreement? Well, the best option is to try to talk to your co-parent. Start there open up the conversation. I know that that can sometimes be difficult depending on the level of relationship that you have with them. But at the end of the day, anything that you and your co-parent can agree to by consent is going to be better than what a judge would decide for you. You can think about the specifics of your family, what works, your kids, what their schedule is. Judges aren't going to be that creative. Another option is mediation. If your co-parent is open to having a dialogue, you can attend mediation with a qualified mediator and try to reach an agreement there. Sometimes you need that third party neutral to be creative, give you ideas about how to change a schedule, change the custody arrangement, and that can really be a helpful resolution. If neither of those options work, then you might have to file a motion and have a judge decide. When you do that, you want to make sure, with the help of an experienced attorney, that you're presenting the matter to the judge in the appropriate way. You want to make sure the judge has all of the information in front of them to make the decision for you. And you want to make sure the judge is considering the things that you feel are in the best interest of your family. I hope you found this video helpful and I thank you for watching it. What I really want you to take away is that you're not stuck. You don't have to live with an agreement that doesn't work for you, but more importantly, doesn't work for your kids. Pick up the phone and talk to one of our experienced attorneys today because we can help you and guide you through this process.